In this presentation, we will look at the importance of the price elasticity of supply when the demand curve shifts in terms of determining the equilibrium price and quantity. And then after that, we will look at the importance of the price elasticity of demand when supply shifts. Imagine we are at equilibrium at P1Q1. What happens now is that there is an increase in demand. Demand curve shifts to the right. This means at each and every price, there's an increase in the quantity demanded, perhaps because of an increase in income, if this is a normal good, or an increase in the price of a substitute, causing customers to switch towards this product. What we have, therefore, at the old price is an excess quantity demanded, and this leads to upward pressure on the price, and we end up at a new equilibrium at P2Q2. Now, in this case, we have a fairly steep supply curve. It is price inelastic, and that means that significant increases in price have relatively less effect on the quantity produced. The consequence of that is when demand shifts, the majority of the effect is on price rather than quantity. We can see there is significant effect P1 to P2, which is greater than the impact Q1 to Q2. What that means then is that if supply is price inelastic, changes in demand will have more impact on the price than the quantity. You can see this perhaps in markets such as agriculture, where supply is pretty inelastic due to difficulty suddenly increasing output. So certainly in the short run, supply is price inelastic, and therefore changes in demand will have big impacts on the price. Here we can see again demand increasing, D1 to D2, it's shift in the demand curve. But notice that this time, in terms of the new equilibrium, there is a much greater effect on the quantity than on the price. Price has only increased P1 to P2, but there is a big increase, relatively big increase from Q1 to Q2 in terms of the quantity supplied. This is because supply is price elastic. It's very responsive to price, and a small increase in the price has a big impact on the quantity. An increase in or decrease in demand when supply is price elastic, therefore has much more effect on the quantity than the price. Now let's look at the impact of a shift in the supply curve. This time we'll see it's the price elasticity of demand that is very significant in determining the new price and quantity. We originally equilibrium at P1Q1 and supply shifts out to the right. Perhaps more producers have entered the industry, there was new technology or a reduction in costs, perhaps due to lower wage costs or a reduction in uh, indirect tax. This means that the old price is now excess supply, this is, leads to downward pressure on the price and we end up at a new equilibrium P2 Q2. Notice in the example we've got that this new equilibrium has a significantly lower price and a relatively smaller increase in the quantity. The shift in supply has mainly affected price because demand is price inelastic. So when demand is price inelastic, change in supply affect price more than quantity. An understanding of the price elasticity of supply and demand and its impact on the price and quantity following a shift in supply or demand is of interest to several groups. For example, the government will be interested when introducing indirect taxes. Indirect taxes increase costs of producers and lead to an inward shift in supply. In the case of price inelastic demand goods, such as tobacco and alcohol, the impact is mainly on price rather than consumption. 